Yes, uh, good morning, everyone. This is uh, Chandra from RTL Online Training. Welcome for our uh, Oracle Cloud Human Capital Management uh, first demonstration. We are going to have three demonstrations today, tomorrow, and day after tomorrow. After that, we are going to have regular sessions. As we know that it's daily one hour at 6.30, it will be starting. 6.30 to 7.30. That's going to be our uh, regular class sessions. Okay. So today we are going to start with very basic things. What is cloud? What are different cloud companies we have in the market? What is cloud? What are different cloud companies we have? And what is Oracle Cloud? What is Oracle Fusion? And what is Oracle Fusion Human Capital Management? What are the different modules we have? What are the different jobs we will find in uh, Proficient human capital management. And we're going to learn how to configure user account today. That's uh, going to start because most of the people uh, will not be clear the cloud, what is fusion applications, what are different uh, domains we have in fusion applications. So this these things they may not be clear. It is okay. Once we are clear with that, uh, then we can go for the next level options here. So here uh, tomorrow we will be taking up the <clears throat> real time scenario and we'll see how it will work and we'll also talk about the syllabus copy and what are the things we are going to do it from. So before we start the first demo session, let me introduce about RTL online trainings and placement. We are based out uh, in Hyderabad, physically, and maximum our uh, trainings we will be conducting through online. And we have an excellent placement track record last 10 years from 2014 in Oracle Cloud Human Capital Management. You can go through our website uh, as well as this uh, YouTube channel. And in the YouTube channel, we can we can find uh, 600 videos having 13,000 subscribers exclusively for Oracle Fusion Cloud. Exclusively for Oracle Fusion Cloud. We have very good uh, track record on the training as well as the placement. And we are proudly says that we have trained thousands of uh, consultants through RTL and placed some hundreds of consultants. Okay, So uh, here we will be having the training. After that, we are going to have the placement also. So it's, uh, regarding that, you can communicate with our admin part of how we are going to perform this placement point of view. Okay. Yeah. So in RTL online, every class, it will be recorded, and it will be sharing to your Google Drive, download the videos will be forever it will be always with you and we will be creating an a whatsapp group and i'm going to be the part of that whatsapp group so in that whatsapp group uh, if you have any doubts during the practice or while preparing the resume or when you are attending for the interviews you can post it always will support you uh, this uh, through whatsapp group will be providing you the information and and we'll be providing the excellent documentation to, to, to clear the interviews as well as to clear the certifications. Here it is. Okay, let's let's enter into this uh, demo sessions. So during my explanation, if you have any doubts, uh, just you can unmute yourself and go for ask the doubts. I'll clarify. We treat that every consultant is in a fresher for this cloud ERP and we take a ride from the basic level to expert level. I'm sure that after completion of this training, you will be able to apply 
uh, from four to five years experience consultant in India as a uh, human capital management. Okay. So first we'll talk about what is uh, cloud. So cloud is nothing but uh, a virtual server. Cloud is nothing but a virtual server. So the information, it may be text or videos or audio files, it can be stored in an it can be stored in any format but that server is not available in your local machine it will be stored somewhere you are you are connecting to that server through internet for example youtube is there so we are connecting to youtube servers from our desktop or from our laptop we are entering the url we are entering the credentials after entering the credentials, we are connecting to this website and we are able to access the information. It will be text or images or videos. So these all are not stored in your local machine. It's stored in YouTube servers. It's a virtual. It's located somewhere in US or UK or India or Europe countries. We don't know exactly where it's located. Okay, but through internet, we are connecting, right? Through internet into this website and we are, we are able to access okay so the same thing cloud is like a virtual server we are connecting to the cloud through internet and access the information by using the url applications here so what are what are the different cloud companies we have in the market what are different cloud companies are available there are majorly four companies available there are majorly four companies are available. So what is a uh, cloud? It's a virtual server. It's a virtual servers. And what are different cloud companies we have? We have AWS, Amazon Web Services. We have Microsoft Azure. We have Microsoft Azure. Then we have Google Cloud. We have Google Cloud. We call it as a GCP. Then we have Oracle Cloud. And of course, after that, a lot of other cloud companies we have. Salesforce and other. Okay. Majorly, first four. Majorly, we can find first four companies. AWS. Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, Oracle Cloud, like this. So what these companies are doing is they have established data centers. They have established data centers across the world. Across the world, they have established the data centers. In this data centers, they have configured super computers with high-end server configuration high-end server configuration what these companies are offering to the clients is when you are doing some business let's say your client is doing some automobile business they have some hundreds of branches thousands of employees day-to-day -day, some thousands of accounting entries sales procurement customers data supplier data employees data, feedback data, and they are going to provide the support for their customers, nothing but CRM, okay? So when you are doing your business and maintain all this information in the servers, so maybe you are using your own servers. So it's difficult to maintain your own servers because again, you have to spend a lot of money as well as you are supposed to uh, concentrate on that 24 by 7 you have to take care of it right so when you would like to uh, when you are doing some automobile business and again maintaining all this it infrastructure for your business it may be a difficult and expensive and risky and also nowadays whatever the tools and products we are getting in the market keep on it is uh, it's upgrading their uh, uh, new whatever new options we have Okay, so this company says that instead of maintaining your own servers, why don't you come into our uh, data centers 
and start using our servers. Start using our servers. Okay. So instead of maintaining your own server, instead of maintaining your own server, let's start using our servers by paying the rent. Tenant. You are going to use that server for one year and whatever the use is you have done, for that you are going to make the payment. Whatever the use is. Okay. Whatever the use is you are done. Or you can have a fixed, uh, you know, fixed uh, amount uh, irrespective of uses and all. It will save maximum time risk as well as the cost also. As well as the cost also it will be saving. So that, that, that's what the cloud companies are offering. That's what the cloud companies are offering for customers. Okay. So what cloud companies are offering to our customers is Instead of maintaining your own servers, let's use our uh, data centers we have established across the world with a high-end configuration servers. You can go ahead with using the servers by paying the rent and store all your data applications, analysis, processing the huge data. So everything you can do it over here. That's what they are offering. That's what they are offering. So these are uh, different cloud companies which we have across the world, major, top level, top four if we talk about Amazon Web Services, Azure, Google Cloud, then Oracle Cloud it is, then Oracle Cloud. So almost, uh, for example, if we look at Oracle Cloud, they have established data centers, uh, almost 40 plus countries. Why they will establish data centers in every country. For example, in India, there are two data centers for our trip. One is in Hyderabad, another one is in uh, Mumbai. Now we can see that. Oracle data centers in India. So Oracle Corporation launched the second cloud data center in India and Hyderabad in 2020 earlier there was uh, it was in mumbai okay this is the 23rd out of 36 data centers that oracle plans to have across the world by end of 2020 now it is crossed now it's crossed 40 plus we hope recently oracle has uh, established data centers in colombia as well as in Chile, country also, so to maintain. So what is the reason behind that establishing the data centers in every country is when we want to attract the local clients, let's say your client is doing business only in India or only in Singapore, or they may be doing some business only in Qatar. They are not having business across the world. So if I go to Singapore and ask uh, the client says that uh, I have data centers in Europe countries or in US or UK or India, and why don't you use our servers uh, as a tenant and start uh, you know, using the applications and maintain the data? Why, why don't you go ahead with that? Definitely, uh, they may not accept because, because, uh, the data, whatever they are storing in the servers, which is uh, very important, confidential, make sure that uh, the data which is uh, stored in the servers, those data centers are in, the, in their region or in their country. It should be in the local. That's what their expectation. So due to that reason, uh, any cloud company, it's not only Oracle has established uh, 40 plus data centers across the world, other, others also has started. Almost. AWS also has got 40 plus, Azure 38, something like Google, like this. Okay, So this cloud companies, uh, to attract the local clients uh, right from the small scale industries and mid-size as well as the large scale sector, Obviously, they will be establishing the they will be establishing the data centers in the local the local territory region or uh, country. Okay. So Oracle has established forty plus data centers across the world, and they are giving the 
very good offers to the customers. So when we say that uh, our cloud is nothing but a virtual server and data centers, they will be establishing that data centers, there will be a supercomputer servers, which cloud technology. Okay. So the clients who are doing the business enterprises to maintain their complete business information. So instead of using their own servers, they can go for uh, using this uh, servers uh, through internet. They can access to the servers and use the servers and by paying the rent. So it will save their time, cost, as well as the risky also. And the always they will be using the latest version of the product. Because this cloud companies always, they will upgrade their products, which are there in the cloud. So client, no need to worry about which version I'm using, because that is a responsibility of the cloud companies. Always they'll go for upgrade. Every quarter, the companies are going to upgrade these products and make sure that uh, all the features are successfully implemented for the client. Make sure that that's what they will be performing here. Okay. So uh, what Oracle Cloud is having? If, if any cloud company says that, I have this data center and I have servers, you can take for rent and start using these servers. It means uh, you can install your applications. All your employees, when they come to office every day, they can connect to my cloud by entering this URL like this, like how we enter YouTube or Facebook or LinkedIn, the same way. The same way your client also will have the access like this. This is what our cloud we are connecting here. So every client will have a separate URL. And then once they connect to the cloud here, they'll be able to, depends on the user, access means the security. User will be able to access the products, either one application or multiple applications. It's not only the applications, they can also go for access the tools. Depends on the requirement. Tools depends on the requirement here. Yeah. Okay. So what Oracle Cloud is having? Oracle Cloud is going to have the data centers and having very good servers, which is high-end technology, cloud computing, and also has got excellent tools and products and products. So your client, uh, Oracle, has got an excellent tools and product. If you say, I have only servers, I have only servers in my data center, you can take it for rental, then uh, the clients may not be interested because they say that we can buy the server, no problem. So why do I need to take a risk? So I can buy the server, I can recruit the DBAs, I can recruit the network administrators and start using this, start using this uh, server for my business data maintenance. So why do I need to come for your data center? So uh, that's why obviously cloud companies to attract the customers, what they will do is they will provide good tools and products. Some of the tools are uh, subscription cost. Some of the tools are free of cost. It depends the cloud companies are offering to the customers. So by using the tools, your client can build the products, means applications, business applications, or they can build the performance application or test case applications, whatever. And if there are already some products, directly they can go for use it or they can modify and start using those uh, products. So Oracle. Uh, giving an excellent uh, tools like Oracle Database, providing Oracle Database Apex tool. Apex tool is for uh, development of low code uh, pages. It's one of the tools we have. Oracle Analytics Cloud, this is to build the analytics. FAW, Vision Analytics Warehouse, this is for data. Extract, transform, and loading, like ATL type of data conversions and configurations. Fission Cloud ERP. This is an ERP application, maintain the enterprise's data. And after that, uh, 
net suit it is also small scale sector cloud app so net suit we have and then uh, we have vbcs visual builder cloud services tool this is for building the pages dbcs database cloud services this is to build the database and jcs java cloud services build some java applications then we have oacs oracle integration cloud services it is also one of the tool build the product here and we have ba business intelligence so agile reporting tool like this number of tools and products are available in oracle cloud so if you say simply i have established the data centers across the world and we have an excellent high end servers configuration why don't you use our servers on rental basis and start installing your applications and using our applications so if you if you tell that uh, way so maybe your clients are not interested but when you say uh, in our servers all these tools and products are available if you come to our cloud then only you can use this products i am not giving this products out of my server if somebody says that i'll buy this tool and develop the applications no i am not providing you should be a, my client and you should come to my cloud there you can start using my tools using my tools go for development of the products or applications those things you can go for sell it to the customers or you can use it for your own or you can go for use it for your own so there are some products so those products you can directly use or you can pro customize those product and start using that and start using that so these are uh, different tools excellent tools and products available in the cloud so obviously the clients are coming to the cloud environment nowadays to maintain their uh, business data business information okay so it's clear everybody any doubts here I have explained three topics here. What is cloud? What are different cloud companies we have in the market? Then what is Oracle Cloud? What tools and products in Oracle Cloud we have? It means indirectly Oracle servers. What are the different tools and products? Yeah, that's what that's what we have discussed now. Yeah. No, sir, it was clear for me. Either year. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, sir, it's clear. Good. Yes. We are going to talk about this this particular product, Fusion Applications. As I said, uh, once client comes to this Oracle servers, means Oracle Cloud, there are different tools and products. And now this product has got uh, very good feedback and uses and most of the clients has started using this product for for their business now we are going to talk about so what is oracle fusion oracle fusion is uh, one of the cloud-based erp product one of the cloud-based erp product okay what is a ERP product? ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning. Enterprise Resource Planning. Enterprises are doing some business. Maintain their complete resource information in a proper planning. Then we will be using this product. Okay. Let's say you have a client called Aditya Birla sun life insurance aditya birla sun life insurance it's, oh, who is your client aditya birla aditya birla is our client what is their business insurance business they will provide the insurance to the persons 
as well as for the vehicles and also for some other properties and also for the insurance for the missionaries, whatever. They, they provide insurance for the people as well as for the objects. Okay. So this Aditya Birla client is having, let's say, 20,000 employees. They have 20,000 employees. That's around 400 branches. And they have 1 lakh customers. One lakh customers they have. 400 branches. 20,000 employees. Day to day, there will be some thousands of business transactions they will be performing. They will be performing. All their employees will come to office every day in all these branches. They will be communicating with the customers, updating creations, deletions, deactivation, activation, collections, deposits. Okay, and end of the month salary paying, leave applying, performance, compensation, benefits, plans, everything they are going to perform. So this is their strength. The client, uh, client resources, this. When I say resource, their employees, their suppliers, their customers, their banks, their branches, their infrastructure, their missionaries, their business plans and strategies. All this we call it as a resource. This client should utilize all this resource effectively. Then only their business will be keep on. It will be increased as well as it will be in controlled. It will be in control. Okay. So whenever the enterprise here, what is the enterprise? Aditya Birla is one of the enterprise. What is the resource? This is what their strength or resource. You have to utilize all these resources in a proper. That's what we call it as ERP product. If you have this software application or if you have this product, you can maintain all this information in a proper method. You can maintain all this information in a proper method, in a proper plan. So and you can improve your business always. It, it will be on your control because it's very difficult to maintain 20,000 employees, what they are doing every day. And everything should be on control and limits, approvals, rejections, as well as storing, history, archivals, everything we have to take care of, either sales or procurement or payments or receivables, employee self-information or policies, everything, communication with the customer, CRM, customer feedback, everything I have to measure it day to day, right? That's why ERP applications will be used to maintain all this information, okay? So earlier what happened, every client used to install this ERP applications on their servers. ERP is not something uh, uh, today it is there. It's there from 1990. It's there in 1990. 34 years, more than more than 34 years back, it's there. ERP applications, enterprise applications. Call it as a business data maintenance applications. They started adding module by module. Now, now every client wants to maintain. Now, if you go for uh, high-raise apartments who are having more than 400 apartments, obviously, they have to use one application to maintain 400 apartments data. Who is the apartment owner and who is the tenant? How many people are there when they entered here? How much maintenance they are paying? How much expenses they are coming? End of the month, they have to provide the report and show that report to all 400 members. And if they wanted to conduct something, they have to conduct voting. So this is all required, right? Like that, every client is trying to maintain the business data in a proper plan. Then only they'll be able to analyze and understand and keep their business on control. That's what we call it as an ERP. Earlier, clients used to install this ERP softwares in their servers, but now cloud-based ERP products has came. So, this cloud-based ERP product means it's very simple. Uh, that product will be stored in in the in their cloud. For example, Oracle Fusion is one of the cloud-based ERP. So if you say that I'll buy this software uh, and I'll install in my server and I'll give the access to my applications, sorry, my employees, uh, then Oracle will not allow because this product is a ERP product. 
it is already there in my cloud means it is already there in my servers you have to subscribe to my cloud and start using this application just server place is changed instead of your server it's there in my servers it's there in the my cloud environment okay so the client has to subscribe the client has to subscribe for my cloud and start using this product if you use the product based on the number of users or based on the uses or fixed amount, we can have agreement every year or every five years or every month. It depends on the billing rate. Okay, it's up to the client. But what Oracle is promising, definitely 80% of cost you can save when you are maintaining your own server instead of that 80 percent you can save the cost that's what they are going to give the billing calculator billing calculate okay so what are the cloud erps are available in the market who are the competitors for this so just now we discussed oracle fusion is one of the cloud based erp product okay obviously uh, in the it sector or any sector definitely there will be a competitors right so who are the competitors? SAP is one of the competitor. Salesforce is one of the competitor. Workday is one of the competitor for our product. After that, uh, Microsoft Dynamics R365. This, this is another competitor. These are main, main ERPs which are there in the market. So these are computers. Earlier, Oracle was there, another ERP it was uh, Oracle eBusiness Suit, means Oracle Applications. Oracle Applications. But it's old ERP, it is not cloud based. So that ERP, what you can do is you can buy the software, install in your server. You hire your DBAs, network administrators, uh, as well as the security people and go for give the access to your employees. Everything will be under your control. 24 by 7, you have to take care of the application and server maintenance, everything. But cloud-based ERPs nowadays, uh, uh, clients are preferring due to the reason is very simple. Day-to-day -day business processes, applications and plans are changing. When the business plans are changed, when the, the when the world becomes as a digital, obviously they'll try to change the plans and try to approach the customers in different way, right? So in that scenario, in that scenario, obviously your client uh, wants the product updates, modifications. So if it is in the cloud, what happened? If it is cloud-based ERP, what happened? This cloud company will take care of that updates, migrations, everything they'll take care of. So client no need to worry about it. Client no need to worry about this here. So the, those updates, everything, every quarterly update, uh, the cloud-based company will take care. Because uh, whatever the tools and products they have, every quarter they have to provide the updates to the customers. Then there will be happy that okay new new version has came and without uh, any cost without no time uh, they'll be able to utilize those features that's so that is a responsibility of this cloud companies that is a responsibility of the cloud companies so now no, no need to worry about earlier what happened if any version new version comes into the market immediately client has to buy that or get that software and they have to again uh, uh, DBS, they have to apply those uh, new features, nothing but patches, and start using that feature in there. So it was taking time, but now everything is uh, cloud company will. That is the major advantage of cloud. Major advantage of cloud is the cloud company will take care of every quarterly updates. Client no need to worry about that. So make sure that the client is always using the latest version of the product. Like how frequently we will go for upgrade our uh, software in our mobile. Every six months or every one year, you will get a notification. New updates came for your uh, Android application or uh, your iOS. 
So please restart your mobile. Automatically will be in, you will be getting those new features. Right? Same way in the products or tools, whatever the new things your cloud-based company has introduced, those features will be available. So these are the competitors in the market. But SAP uh, is a good competitor, but they do not have these many data centers. As I said, Oracle has established 42 data centers across the world. SAP is not having that much. In, in fact, SAP is one of the cloud ERP-based product. They do not have any other tools or they are not ready to give the servers for the client also. I'll tell you an example where the SAP is lacking or where the SAP is not in the competition of our uh, business. I'll tell you. Let's say your client is Aditya Birla. Right? Aditya Birla Sun Life Insurance Company. Okay? They are doing business, let's say, 1999 onwards. Now we are in 2024. Now we are in 2024. Almost 25 years they are in the business. They might be using some custom applications, custom softwares so far to maintain their business. Let's say they are using some .NET application, some Java applications, some mobile applications, some web applications they are using. So far, so far they are already using these applications. By using the softwares, they have built some products and tools. They are using that and they are running their business. Now they like our ERP. Now they like our ERP. What is that our ERP? Oracle Fusion. Now when Aditya Birla company comes to Oracle saying that, comes to Oracle Corporation, Adit Birla is telling us that I decided to use your power since your servers. I want to shut down my servers. I want to shut down my servers. I want to use your servers. Okay, fine. Whatever the applications I have so far, these applications I will lift from here and I'll shift into your I'll shift into your because I don't want to go stop this uh, software. I like very much. These applications are very much flexible for my business. Stabilized. My, my employees are uh, effectively using these applications. I don't want to shut down this. So let me move all these applications to here, into your servers. And also I want to use your Oracle Fusion Claudia. Then Oracle says, yes, that is what actually my business. I am providing the servers for rental basis. Whatever the applications you have in your server, just lift from there and shift to my servers. And if you like my tools or products which are available in my server, that also you can use. If you don't like my tools and products, go for using only your applications. I don't worry. You just pay the amount for Usage of my servers. You are not using my tools. You are not using my products. You are just using my server. Okay, you pay that amount on it. Because my business is that. What Oracle is telling, my business is that. I established the servers in my data centers, more than 42 countries. So why you are using your server? Why don't you move all your applications to my cloud? Because 24 by 7, I have high-end developers, cloud computers, hackers, everything who will take care of the security of it. Okay, you don't need to worry about 24 by 7. It's my responsibility. It's my risk. Okay, so whether you want to use my applications or not, doesn't matter. Go for upload your applications and tools and start using the product. This is what actually our business. SAP is not like that. SAP doesn't have the cloud. What this is that I have only ERP software. If you have your own applications uh, and if you say I'll shut down my server, I'll come to your cloud and I'll move my applications. No, I don't have place. I don't have servers. I don't have data centers. 
only my ERP software is there that you can use as it is cloud that you can use as a cloud. If you say I have some other applications, I'll move. No, I'm sorry. I'm not in the cloud business. I'm not giving the servers for rental. I'm just giving the business application. Only ERP application, I'll give the cloud. That is uh, that is what actually the that is what actually the SAP business. So that's why by 2026 or 27, Oracle Fusion will be the number one cloud-based ERP because this is very difficult for our you know uh, customers. This is very difficult for our customers, right? This is very difficult because customers might be using some other applications. Definitely, they wanted to go for using both one as well as the cloud-based ERP. So that's why there is nowhere the things will come into the future. Even Salesforce also same problem. Workday also is the same problem. It will provide only their ERP as a cloud. If you have any other application, they don't have the space, install and use it. They'll say that all things you keep it in your server. But what Oracle says, let's get all your applications into my servers, install. If you like my tools, use it. Otherwise, Go with your tools only. Go with your products only. Just use my servers and pay the amount. The same business is providing Microsoft also. Yes, Microsoft has got that. It's an excellent, again, I think 38 plus data centers across the world, Microsoft has got. So uh, that's Microsoft uh, has got uh, ERP, but uh, this Microsoft uh, Dynamics is not that much, uh, you know, powerful product ERP. Compared to our fusion, there is no way competitor. ERP wise, if we say the competitor, three people comes: SAP, Salesforce, Workday. These three people comes into the picture. Okay, but as I said, this is the drawback. For them. So if they have other applications, these people cannot. These people cannot provide the facility. Salesforce. Yes. It's clear everybody about the competitors of this product who imported this cloud based ERP. Going forward, this is just beginning of this is just a beginning of the cloud ERP trade. Uh, going forward, it's going to be a robust product. And across the world, vast cloud based ERP with a high flexibility. We know that nowadays chat GPT is coming from Microsoft. Gemini is coming from Google, which is all generative AIs. Okay, artificial intelligence. In fact, Oracle has started generative AI. They, they are providing in their servers. So Oracle is moving very faster. It's not like earlier. They are moving like very faster because they have opened the data centers in these many countries. Definitely, they have to provide uh, excellent tools and products and latest updates uh, with all the new features and new versions in the market. Otherwise, it will be difficult to survive. They have invested a lot of money across the world in data centers. If you don't provide the attractive tools and products and facilities, then customers will not use your uh, cloud. If customers will not use this your cloud, then a bit, where is the revenue for your company? then it will be a big loss, right? That's why Oracle is going ahead like anything. Even if you just go to Oracle website and spend uh, 15, 20 minutes time on that, then you will come to know what Oracle is doing. Earlier, people used to call Oracle means it's a database, only database. But now Oracle is a cloud-based company like AWS, like Microsoft Azure, like Google Cloud, GCP, Azure, AWS, like that, Oracle is a cloud platform. It's a cloud-based company. It's a cloud-based company. So that, that, that's about uh, the 
generative AI solutions for the business has already initiated here. People are using large language models to enterprise these applications. And so that's that's uh, the advantage of this Oracle Fusion ERP compared to other ERPs which are there in the market. Yes. Any doubts here? Uh, you can go ahead. You can unmute yourself and ask for the doubt. Please tell. Please. You can unmute yourself always. Yeah, I given the permission that. Any doubts here? Oh, yeah, good. So, can yeah. Yes. Please go ahead. So, uh, can you please tell me what is this Oracle generated to AI? Uh, that is uh, equal to Chat GPT. So, every company uh, ah. providing uh, their own right, having info. Mm -hmm. So, when you, uh, let's say, it's as simple as you got something doubt and you don't have that information. Generally, you used to call to your friends or colleagues and uh, mm -hmm. get that answer. Nowadays, what we are doing, we are doing Google search, right? Okay. If we don't get even in Google search also, then we are going to friends, right? Our colleagues. Okay. So in 2012, 2011, this Google search has started mainly. Now we are in 2024. Maximum we are getting the result. Same thing, this chat GPT or Gemini or this generative AI from Oracle, every company has started building their own uh, uh, generative AI to give the maximum information to the developers as well as for the testers, as well as for the customers, as well as to the public. Thank you. Yeah. So even Salesforce is also having only the ERP products, they don't have any data centers? No. They, they they provide only cloud ER. Client says that okay. they have their applications. No, we are not. Okay, thank you. That's it. Okay, now, now, uh, as I said, that uh, Oracle Fusion Cloud ERP will be the number one ERP in the market and going forward. It's now almost it's there. Uh, here it's going to be. Uh, the future year. So when we say ERP software, what are the main domains, main business data will be maintaining? Mainly four, finance, supply chain management, human capital management, CRM, project portfolio management, public sector, revenue management, transportation management like this we will find different domains this Oracle fusion has got uh, an uh, excellent uh, all these four areas finance supply hcm crm in other areas also of course we have in other areas also of course we have okay so any erp you say sap also definitely sap will have sap finance SAP Supply, SAP HR, SAP CRM, SAP PPM, Public Sector, like that. If you say Salesforce also, if you say Workday also, but Workday and Salesforce are limited. We don't have these many, you know, domains in that. These many domains uh, we don't have in that. They have limited. Salesforce CRM is there, good. Workday HCM is there, Human Capital Management, that also is good. And uh, SAP is good in supply chain. Of course, finance is there. Uh, this is all we have. Okay. But uh, Oracle Fusion has got all the domains for, for C. Everything is there. Vast application, vast product. Don't have any ERP which is having this many uh, products. It means modules. It means modules. So once client adopt this ERP, they don't need to worry about they don't need to worry about the other application because everything is available here. Everything is available over here it is. Okay. 
So now uh, what we are talking about is Oracle Fusion Cloud here. Now we are talking about uh, the human capital minus. Finance is used to maintain the accounting information day to day. Accounting information day to day. Supply chain management is for the procurement, means uh, sales, order management, and then inventory, warehouses. This is all information we are going to have. Okay. So the human capital management is used to maintain the employees information, employee salaries information, employee leaves information, employee timesheets information. Employee benefits information, employee recruitment process information, employee goals, employee performance, employee profile information. Complete employee management we will maintain in the human capital management. Earlier we were calling it as HRMS around five, six years back. Now we are calling it as human capital management. Okay, human capital management. Let's say your client is having more than 5,000 employees. It's below 5,000 employees, they can use some local applications and all. But when we have more than 5,000 applications, it's very difficult to maintain all these thousands of employees, competencies, skill set, everything. Because I have 7,000 employees. If I want to utilize my employee skills or services, I have to manage that information in a proper plan. Then only I can use my employee skills and services and get benefited. And also make sure that my employee is satisfied. How I can make sure that? And make sure that my employee has not crossed my business limits. Whatever the terms and conditions I kept, he should not cross it. I am in India. My clients are there across the India in different branches. I cannot visit each and every branch and monitor the employees, right? Whatever they do business every day, it should be under control as per my company terms and conditions. That's where the products will come. That's where the softwares will come, right? ERP products. Okay. So the human capital management, human capital management is used to control your complete HR data. Your complete HR data over here. Was clear everybody yeah so in human capital management we will find different models uh, like uh, as i said global hr payroll options management talent management compensation Time and labor, benefits, ORC, like this. Majorly, majorly we'll find uh, these models. So I'm not talking about finance models. I'm not talking about supply chain. I'm not talking about CRM or PPM or revenue management or transport. Those are different domains. Finance is generally accounting people will start and supply chain mechanical or some People who are from procurement management side, they used to talk about that. So uh, what I'm doing is now different modules which we have in human capital management, I'm talking here. Okay, so here uh, we will be having majorly eight modules here. There might be some workforce management, workforce life cycle like that. Simple modules will be there, but majorly this. Global HR, role, options, uh, Talent management, compensation, human labor. <clears throat> human labor is basically it's uh, when the organization wants to maintain the employees, you know, employees uh, timesheet information, number of hours employees worked. If you want to maintain the timesheet information, then it's going to be used here. Then it's going to be used over here. Benefits model, employee benefits here, self benefits we are going to have. And then uh, we have ORC, ORC recruitment cloud, so onboarding process, uh, recruitment onboarding process you are going to have recruitment onboarding.
process we are going to have it here. So we will be learning global HR model, role model, options management, talent management. In compensation, we have two different types, individual compensation, multiple compensation, like compensation management. We'll be learning individual compensation. We'll be learning individual compensation, which includes with the payroll model. So four models we are going to learn to end. Four modules we are going to learn end to end in fusion applications. We are going to learn end to end. These are uh, very few clients will be implementing this ORC, OTL benefits. And in fact, when you are clear here, uh, uh, when you are clear this four modules, then you can self update this other modules if required. If required, you can go for update over here. Okay, so human capital management, as I said, when we say human capital management, we have this eight models here. We have this eight models over here, and this is what we are going to learn. So when we say uh, these are the models uh, we have, your client may be subscribe only two models or three models or all the models, means entire human capital management suit, or even they can go with finance, supply, HCM, CRM, like that, other domains also, okay? So if the clients are moving into that level, then obviously you are supposed to go with this models here. What are the roles we will find here? What are the roles or jobs we will find in this? We will find here functional and technical. There will be two different uh, types of uh, roles we will find, functional, technical two different types of roles we will find over here. so the functional as well as the technical we are going to learn the functional 100 percent we are going to learn for the functional so it's going to be a functional setup so what is functional responsibility what is technical responsibility how the product looks like how to configure the user account we will see that tomorrow Today, I have just given two different types of roles we will have. One is functional, another one is uh, technical here. Okay. One is functional, another one is technical. Okay. So, tomorrow we'll see practically what are the roles and, uh, yeah, what are the different roles and how to create a user. We'll see that. Tomorrow. Okay. So, today we talked about what is cloud. What are different cloud companies we have? What is Oracle Cloud? What are different tools and products we have in Oracle Cloud? Which product we are going to learn? What is that? It's a year product. And who are the competitors for this fusion year in the market? And uh, in Oracle Fusion, what are the domains we have finance supply hcm and hcm what are the modules we have and what are the modules we are going to learn high level i told that four modules and tomorrow session we'll be discussing in detailed syllabus functionally roles and responsibilities of functional consultant and technical consultant is all we are going to discuss tomorrow and we'll see that uh, we'll worry tomorrow that's why i said we will have three demos this is our demo one. Tomorrow we will have a demo two. And day after tomorrow we are going to have a demo three. And then we are going to have the regular classes from Thursday onwards here. It's a continuation process. And the duration of the course will be two months. Two months, maybe four or five days extra. It may be delayed due to server issue or any other thing. We'll provide the server for six months. 
uh, for practice. You don't need to install anything in your local machine. Just if you have a good internet, it's fine. Just you have to enter the URL and whatever the credentials we have given access. Just log in and go for create your own credentials and start doing the setups and implement the products. Yeah, that's what we'll be doing. Okay. Thank you, uh, everyone. And you can see this video, demo video in our uh, channel. I'll upload this today. You can access from all the demos. You can access from our channel. And please subscribe for our channel to get the latest dates about Oracle Cloud, either training point of view as well as the placement and other point of view. Hey, you can Hello. you can unmute. Go ahead. Oh, oh yeah, uh, I have a couple of questions. So one thing uh, from the discuss discussion. So uh, the Oracle HCM is only going to support those four core uh, modules, or do we have any other modules other than it, this? It supports eight modules total. Out of okay. that four modules, we are going to learn. Oh, uh, okay. Only so as a functional discussion, we are going to discuss only on this four. Uh, yeah. Models, generally, right? generally, two to three models will be expected in the market when we are applying as three to four years. But we are okay. going to learn four models, so that is more than sufficient. And in fact, okay. these models are regularly, uh, they'll be asking, every client will be implementing these four models. Okay, thank you. And uh, the class will be only for one hour and yes. uh, it will be from Monday to Friday. Yes, Monday to Friday, Saturday, maybe any doubts are there, I'll be connecting and I'll give the reply. Some people may not be attending on Saturday, so I'll be sharing that recorded session. What are the timings? Same time, 6.30, whatever, yeah, 6.30 oh, okay. a.m. Oh, so are we going to work on any case study? Do we have any yes, yes, so case study? module-wise, whatever we are going to discuss, it's a purely case study as well as the project-oriented in inventory, like interview point up, you will be doing. We are very strong in that area. Interview okay. clearing, certification clearing, as well as project uh, uh, working individually. These three are our main uh, points in our RTL. Oh, uh, okay. So all will be included into these uh, sessions? Sorry, come again. So all of them, all of the certification and everything details will be included into these discussions. Yeah, yeah, we will provide from RTL saying that uh, you have done the training from RTL online, and we will provide. If at all you are doing Oracle certification, for example, uh, your company is offering some Oracle certification. Our training is more than sufficient to clear those certifications. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Let's see you tomorrow. Thanks you. Thanks for your time, which you have spent with me. Let's see you tomorrow at the same time on the same meeting. Thank sure, you. sir. Take care. Bye.